Okay guys, we are back. These are the finished bibs with just the single crochet border as I mentioned. Now I will briefly show you how to do the finished edging, which is more like a, a shell edging. Um, the reason I chose not to do it on my bibs which are going in my project box for my grandbabies that will be in the near future or future as it may be. Um, as many of you know, I've mentioned a couple times, I'm just doing a bunch of different projects and filling up a bunch of totes for um, my future grandbabies. And anything that I do for baby projects will be stored in there for when it is time for that part of my life. Um, so these will go in there. Um, so, But as for the, the edging on that, I just thought that it was just too much around the neck when you put it on a baby. So I just stuck with the... Uh, single crochet but I will show you how to do that edging as well but I did one for a girl one for a boy uh, so um, and also I forgot to mention you will need a button um, but we all know how to um, thread a button on so that's not a big deal so let's get started my color choice is here I'm going to do another um, one for a boy I've got a little uh, blue car button there and I also have a green one so uh, I'll use either one. So this is going to be my main color. It's uh, white with a little light and dark teal, yellow and lime green. And then the teal will be my border. So let's get started with this. And as I mentioned, I will be using a five millimeter hook because it is my favorite that my husband Chris makes. It's the pink ivory hook. Um, and this glides so nicely and I really love working with it. So the first thing that you're going to do here is we're going to chain 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Once you've done that, what you want to do then is half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. And you will half double crochet all the way across this row. Yeah, and if I can get my fingers working this morning, and I've had my coffee, so that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so you just simply half double crochet across. And I love this uh, sugar and cream uh, color scheme here. This is really beautiful. Use it for a boy or girl. Um, but I love the colors. I think uh, blue and lime green just work magical together. Just like uh, teals or turquoise and browns go great together. But I'm a turquoise girl so I love teals and I love turquoise. So no matter what you put with it I think it's just beautiful. So you'll half double crochet all the way across here. So where you started out with 20 stitches, you will actually end up with 18 because of where you started off in the third chain from the hook. You will actually end up with 18. Alright, so we are in this last one. So half double crochet here. Alright, so then round two, you want to chain up two first and you want to turn. So round two, you're going to do two half double crochet into the first. So we are going to start increasing and building up our sides. So you're going to half double or do two half double crochet in the first. And then if you're looking at your pattern, you will half double crochet to the last stitch where you will do an increase in that last stitch as well. So you will just half double crochet across. And if I go too fast on the half doubles, just pause the video. Um, it's, uh, it's just the same stitch over and over. 
So um, there's no point in you watching me do every little single stitch here. It's just the same stitch. And by now, if you're watching these types of videos, you should be a pro at doing your half double crochet. Okay, so now once you get to this last stitch, you want to put two here. So one and two. So it's important to count. So let's count in, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. You do want to count that chain two. Okay, so now you're going to repeat this um, uh, row three more times until you have 26 stitches. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn and you're going to chain two. And you're going to increase into that first stitch. And then you're just going to simply half double crochet across. And then you're going to increase into that last stitch as well. And after this row, you'll do it two more times and you want to have a total of 26 stitches. And then once you have 26 stitches, you are complete with round two. Okay, so do this row and two more, making sure that you're increasing on the beginning and the end stitch. Chain up two and turn. So just do two more rows and I will meet you back. All right, guys, you should have a total of 26, and I do need to tell you you are counting that first one. Uh, it does get a little confusing, but you do need to count that. So you do have 26 stitches across. Um, now what you're going to do is simply chain up two and you're going to work a half double crochet starting in that next stitch and you're going to maintain your 26 stitches all the way across. Uh, you are going to just make a half double crochet row all the way across and you want to do this until your piece measuring from the beginning measures six inches and once it measures six inches then we will actually start shaping the neck and then um, you will be making the uh, actual uh, straps that go around the neck and button um, and then uh, the border will come after that so just half double crochet to the end counting just the, the first row really that is important to make sure that you've maintained your 26 stitches um, and you'll see it start to block off because you're not going to be doing any more increasing so this should be my last one okay so basically you'll get your tape measure and you're just going to measure from here till you get to six inches which is going to be from here me back up so from your point down here to here is going to be your six inches okay so the whole body and then we will start shaping our neck so you're just going to again you're just going to simply chain up two turn and start working your half double crochets again okay so nothing difficult about that so just do this until you have six inches and once I get to that point I will meet you back up and we will start shaping the neck alright so now we are at the end of round two so now our bib is now measuring six inches so what you want to do now is turn which I already have done and now you're going to do a half double crochet in each of the first nine stitches. So you're not going to chain up here. You're just going to go right into the beginning stitch and do a half double crochet. So that's going to be your first one. And then you're going to do nine all together. So there's two, three, get in there silly. Four, five, six, seven, 
8, and 9. Okay? So that's going to be your first 9 stitches. And then in the next 2 stitches, you will do um, half double, 2 half double crochet together. So you'll yarn over and go into the next stitch, pull your loop up, and then go directly into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, you will have four hoops on your hook, so yarn over, pull through all four of those. Okay, so that is your half double crochet two together. So then you're going to leave all these remaining stitches here unworked. So uh, at this point, you want to turn, and then you will chain up two here. Okay, now you're going to half double crochet two together. So you want to go into this first stitch and into the next stitch for the half double crochet two together and just pull those two together and then you're going to half double crochet all the way to the end so just go all the way to the end for half doubles Okay, you should have one more here, and then you should have that last one right there. Okay, so that's the end of round two on shaping the neck. So now what you're going to do here is you're going to chain up two and turn. Now you're going to half double crochet to the last two stitches okay so half double crochet in the next stitch and then go all the way across okay once you get all the way across to the last two stitches you're going to do those two together Okay, so you'll yarn over and go in the next one, and then go directly into that next one. And then you'll yarn over, pull those two together. Okay, so that is row three there. You're going to repeat the last two rows again. So what you're going to do is go back up to row two. So you want to... Uh, uh, let's see you're going to turn and you're going to half double crochet over these first two stitches so you're going to go into that first stitch and into that next stitch and half double crochet those two together and then you're just going to half double crochet across If I can get my fingers working correctly this morning. Okay, so once you're in that last stitch here, you're going to then chain up two and turn. Now you're going to repeat the third row of shaping the neck again which means you're going to do a half double crochet to the last two stitches. So go into that next stitch, do a half double crochet, okay, and then the last two you will half double crochet together, just like this. And basically that's going to leave you with six stitches. See, I think I skipped one there. Yeah, I skipped the last one. Let me get that extra one in there. Make sure you have six. Don't do what I just did. You gotta go in that very last one. Make sure you have five stitches and then two together. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So at the end of that, you want to have a total of six. Okay, now rows six and seven you're just going to do a half double crochet 
actually let's do chain two first then you're just going to turn and you're just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch so that chain two is going to be one then that was two three four five and six okay so that was row six so chain up two you want to turn and do that one more time so that chain two is counted as one then that's two three four five and six in that last one make sure you do get into that last one it will make a difference okay so this is one side of the bib now um, for row eight you are going to chain two and you're going to turn you're going to do two half double crochet into the first stitch so let's do two here then you're going to do one half double crochet in the next three so one two and three and now you're going to do a half double crochet together in these last two so there's one and then there's two and you're going to pull those two together okay so chain up two at this point and turn and for row nine you want to half double crochet over the first two stitches so go in that first one and then the second one you want to put the edge on that one on this side so you half double crochet those together and then you'll half double crochet in the next three one two and three and in that last stitch you will do an increase you will put two half doubles here because what you're doing now is making the curved part where it's going to slightly curve to where you can button the two pieces around the neck <clears throat> all right so now you're going to chain two and you're going to repeat those two rows once again okay so rows eight and nine we will repeat one more time so row eight you will put two half double crochet here in the first so one two and then you will half double crochet in the next three okay and then you will half double crochet the last two together okay sorry guys I got out of the camera and now for row 9 again chain up 2 and turn now this time you're gonna half double crochet two together first so you're gonna half double crochet these two first stitches together and then you're going to do half doubles in the next three and then you will do uh, an increase which is you will do two half doubles in the last just like that and you see how it kind of curved over because you're going to do the opposite or the other side the opposite way and then that way you can button it in the back um, so now what you want to do at this point is you are going to fasten this part off leave enough to weave your end
and you can just weave that down any side you want because you will have to be doing your border and it will cover that all right so I'm going to explain a little bit here before I go any further now depending on the type of artist you are the next step and they don't give the instructions here if you're following along or if you're not I will tell you what it says it says um, for the next side to work uh, work to correspond to first side reversing all shapes in other wo uh, words they want you to form this side by following the instructions uh, for this side but they want you to reverse the pattern for this well I'm a great crochet artist in my opinion but there are some things that I have difficulties with and I can do it I have done it but to concentrate on my teachings and reading the patterns and uh, concentrating on what I'm doing to teach it, it's more of a difficult process to do all that at one time uh, but what they're wanting you to do is to read the pat the pattern kind of backwards to do this because they want you to do it in this direction uh, so you would have to do this in your mind backwards so I kinda took the short way out what I did was flipped it over and did this side exactly like this side and it comes out the same um, so basically that's what I did for all of my bibs as you can tell there's no difference in it and when it comes to using the um, cotton yarn you're like um, want the seams and the lines to be different you know because when you're using acrylic yarn and things like that the ridges are different in the cotton yarn there's no difference uh, I don't know why I can't explain that it's just you don't see the difference if you were to use the front versus the back um, but anyway that's how it comes out it came out perfectly fine on both of them uh, it's your choice if you want to break down the pattern mentally in your mind go right ahead um, but um, I'm just gonna tell you right now uh, how I did it um, you will just join up and how I'm going to do it on camera I'm flipping mine over um, and doing it on this video for the video purpose only I'm going to do it this way because it's a little difficult to concentrate so much on what's going on in the teaching so I'm gonna flip it over and teach it this way okay so I'll be back with you and we'll do the other All side right, guys I'm back with you as I said I flipped my bib over and what we're going to do here is you're going to join up your new yarn um, into the very end stitch with a slip stitch um, you are going to then do a half double crochet right into that same stitch and get all my yarn on there okay so that's going to be your first one so what we're going to do is repeat exactly what we just did on this side over here alright so you're going to half double crochet in the first nine which that's one now I'm going to work over my tail so this is two three four five six seven eight and nine okay now again you're going to half double crochet in the next two you so see you're going to half double crochet two together so you go in the first one, pull up your loop, and the second one you just go directly into. You have four on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four of those loops, okay? So that is the first row of shaping the neck. Now you want to chain two here, and you're going to turn. The second row is you're going to half double crochet over the first two stitches, okay? So pull those together then you're going to half double crochet to the end and 
and you're going to want your stitch count to match the stitch count on the other side. So ultimately you're going to end up uh, with the same amount of stitches. And don't forget that end one, it's kind of hid because there was not a chain two, but it's there. Okay, so now once you've done that for row three, you want to chain up two and you want to turn that again. Now what you're going to do is half double crochet in each stitch to the last two. So go into that next stitch. So there's that one. And you go all the way across. So you get to the last two. Okay, so once you get to the last two stitches, you want to do, let me see, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're going to do a half double crochet two together in these last two stitches. Okay. I think I missed one. Hang on. Make sure because it gets a little tricky on these ends. You want to make sure that you do get the ends here. Let me work mine a little bit and make sure. I'm pretty sure I got this right. All right. Now, so this is what you have so far. So now you're going to turn. That was row three. You're going to chain up two and you're going to work those last two rows once again. So row two, you're going to half double crochet over the first two stitches. Okay, and then you're just going to double crochet across. <clears throat> and by the time you're at the end of this row or the next row, you want to have six stitches like we did on the other side. So now chain up two and turn and you're going to half double crochet to the last two stitches so half double crochet in that next one so that's uh, the next stitch there and then the last two you're going to do together You should have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So now you should have six right here. Now you're going to repeat rows six and seven, which are just half double crochets across. So chain up two and turn. And half double crochet in the next stitch. And across. Just maintain those six stitches. Okay, that's row six. Chain up two and do that one more time. So there's that chain two is one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so there's the end. Okay, so now what you're going to start doing now is you're going to do row 8. Okay, so row 8 wants you to, uh, well, the end of row 7. You're going to chain 2 and turn. So now we're going to increase again. So you're going to put 2 in the first. And then you're going to put 1 in the next 3.
and then you're going to half double crochet the last two stitches. So we're going to start working on that curvature there. Okay. Now row nine, you want to chain up two and turn. You're going to half double crochet two together here. So one and two. Pull it all together. And half double crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to increase on the end. So put two stitches on this end stitch. And it's forming the curve. Okay? So you're going to repeat rows eight and nine once more. So chain up two and turn. So you're going to put two in the first. And one in each of the next three. So one, two, and three. And then the last two, you will do a half double crochet two together. Still forming that curve. And now for row nine, the final row, you want to chain up two. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to half double crochet these first two stitches together. Half double in the next three. And two into this last one. So one and two. Okay, and now you're going to finish this off like you did the other side. Alright, so now you have your bib. Now what I need you to do is to tuck in all your ends and we will be back for the border. Alright, so let's start with the border. I am going to use this uh, baby teal um, blue to go around the border. Now I will show you how to do the border that is with the pattern. However, the border I won't keep on this bib. Like I said, I don't um, really like the border that is on this pattern, so I just border it with a single crochet. But um, they do tell you to go all the way around with a single crochet border. Um, so you will join into the corner here, and then you will chain up one and do a single crochet into that same corner. Okay, and then you'll just go all the way around for your single crochet border to start with. So that's going to give you a look to let you know what it looks like with just a single crochet border. Um, and then you will know if you want to put the rest of the border on or if you just want to leave it with the single crochet uh, border. Um, so once you get going down the sides, you will have to make your own uh, stitches here because there are no stitches. So you just have to kind of guesstimate here of where you're putting them. Um, just space them out evenly. I'm sure you have done this before on many projects as I know I have. Uh, you don't want them too close together or too far apart. It won't look um, correct if you get them too far apart. So just uh, evenly space them, and you want to do that. Uh, try to do it as equal as possible on all sides. Okay, so um, I'm just going to continue around with my single crochet border, and then we are going to join back up back here at the top where we started. And once we get back around there, we will continue with the border with the pattern. Um, so once I get back around there, I will meet you up and we will go from there. Okay guys, I've gone all the way around with my single crochet border. So this is what it looks like without the edging. This is just a basic single crochet border. 
and I like it. It's simple. There's nothing here that will get in the way of the baby's face. Um, so here we go with the actual edging. Um, so basically what you need to do at this point is you're going to chain one and you're going to uh, single crochet into that same space as the last uh, slip stitch. You're going to miss the next single crochet then you're going to do a double crochet into the next and do a chain one and you're going to do that twice so do another double crochet in that same space another chain one and then you end with another double crochet into that same space okay now you're going to miss the next single crochet and single crochet into the next one now you will repeat that all the way around so you're going to miss the next single crochet and let me come in a bit for you so miss the next single crochet okay double crochet in the next single crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet all in that same stitch then you'll skip the next single and single crochet into the next single okay I'll show you one more time skip the next single do a double crochet in the next followed by chain one another double in the same stitch another chain one and another double all in the same stitch then you'll skip the next single go into the next single for a single crochet to kind of bind that off okay and it is a very attractive little border of a trim whatever you want to call that and I do like it. Um, I just, whenever you get around the collar, I think it would be too much just to be around the neck and the face. But, you know, you can even, if, even if you didn't want it around the collar, and if you wanted it, say, just to have along the bottom, it would be very pretty. Um, but, you know, it, patterns are what they are. Do with them as you like. But that is what comes with this pattern, and it is a very simple pattern to do and when it comes to doing the shoulder pieces the straps here if you choose to turn it over and do as i taught that's your prerogative um, again that is how i chose to teach this part of it if you want to manipulate it in your mind and to do it in reverse that's fine as i said i can do it it's just on teaching a video it's a little bit uh, tricky to do amongst all the other things that I'm having to do while I'm teaching um, so anyways you just keep doing this all the way around your bib and then you just connect it all the way um, up here to the top where you started then you have your bib by uh, Lily Sugar and Cream and that's all there is to it and like I said I've done three and this is my third and it's very beautiful in color um, so you could play around with the colors with these and they're very fun to do and if you want them smaller You can use a smaller hook. Um, you you don't have to use cotton if you want to use acrylic or whatever that's up to you I wouldn't use anything more than acrylic um, You know they are for babies and they will get dirty and they need to be able to be washed and uh, Treated so um, just keep that in mind when you're choosing your yarn so that is the project um, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, happy hooking.